So this will be the last video in this beginner series. And I will do another series of videos like this, similar to what you saw, except going more in depth on things. So today we are discussing the pros models. So I have my outline here. Of course, the first thing to make sure you can generate your beats and pros as we, dis as we discussed before is making sure you have the correct format. So you must have act one, chapter one, and you need your chapter headings like that for each one. So chapter number colon. And you do have to have the act one. The rest doesn't matter. I could do away with all of the other acts. That's not going to change anything. So if you're having trouble with even getting to be able to do beats and pros because your outline isn't pulling up, you're not able to choose a chapter, that is likely why. 99% of the time, it's something off with these. So we're just going to come over here to the chapter. I've gone through my beat. I have those edited the way I need to. So now I am ready to do some pros. I'm not going to generate any and make y'all sit here and wait. I'm just going to briefly discuss, discuss the models and some things that I feel about each one. So here you can see it's going to estimate that I spend 1,600 words in pros for these beats. And we discussed this before. If I were to copy this and paste it down here, you would see this number go up. So this does go up in real time to give you an idea of how many words you're going to use. So our different models, we have Most Accurate, which uses GPT-4, Best Pros, which uses Claw 2, Fastest uses 3.5 Turbo from GPT, and Unfiltered is Weaver. So there are no limitations whatsoever on Weaver. And there's a lot you can actually get away with in most accurate and best pros and fastest, but there are times when it will trigger and say it cannot do that content. Now, to clarify, best pros is using Claude 2, not 2.1. They had the issues as soon as it was automatically redirected to 2.1. People started having issues, so Sudorite has made it to where we are using Claude 2 again. And really, the only things that you really have trouble with that I found is extreme violence and sexual situations. Of course, as always, sexual content involving minors is a no-no. So if your characters are not showing the age, these three will give you trouble over generating any kind of sexual content. You'll need to specify the age of your characters. So let's go through some pros and cons for these. Most accurate is going to follow these beats very precisely. The downfall, in my opinion, is that it follows them too well. So a lot of times, especially whenever you have Sudorite generate the beats, you'll see some emotional things at the end of your beats, such as highlighting the magnitude of the decision Jackson will have to make. You'll have others, you know, showcasing their fear, their determination, whatever. Typically, words like that automatically get generated when you use the Generate Beats button. If you don't like that, if you don't want it to show up in your pros and you use most accurate, I recommend removing these because most accurate is the most likely to take phrases like this into the pros almost verbatim. So this, despite the more ambiguity, when I generate pros with most accurate, when it does this stride, it's more than likely going to say something along those lines somewhere in the pros. So keep that in mind with most accurate. It follows the beats perfectly, but it takes a lot of your words, your phrases, and uses them verbatim in the pros. So it's very important that you make things accurate in here and exactly how you want them to sound. So if you want crude language, if you want vulgarity, if you want lots of violence, I recommend putting that here in your beats as well. Put the phrases that you want to use. Put that type of dialogue. Describe things the way you want them described. It's very important with most accurate. Best pros does not follow your beats as well, but I like its output better. It's not one to start bringing things in verbatim, and I like its style a lot. So a lot of people have trouble with best pros following the beats. Our recommendation is to not have all of your beats here. Because keep in mind, as I said before, when you click to generate this chapter and start generating pros, 
The AI reads all of your beats before it starts generating. It doesn't matter that it's just starting out and will start up here. It still reads all of them first. So before you generate anything, cut these out. I like to save it elsewhere in another document, just in case. I'll get that saved. And then you can use John Cresson's ellipses trick. And what this does is give you that ability to continue. So when I generate this, I'll go ahead and generate it to show you. And I'll use this prose. And this is also how you can keep um, unfiltered on track as well. This is the same method. So I paused it after it started for beats one and two. And you can see I don't have any other beats listed, but it's still going to give me that continue button right here because I have these ellipses. And if we go here, it thinks it has two more beats to use. So that allows me to then go over here, of course, go through, make any edits you want to make. And now I can come here and take my next two. Yes, and you want to stick those before the ellipses. Now, in this case, you'll see I have two sets of ellipses. I have that for a reason. Okay, this is for my continuation button, so I know that's going to come up. However, for those familiar with Sudart, you know it writes in strides. A stride is two beats. So that's beat one. This is beat two. So this is my second stride, except I only want this information in the stride. I'm okay with the AI giving me some ideas. If I know exactly how I want to play that scene out, I will put all those details in. In this instance, for this particular scene beat, I don't know exactly how I want to play out, so I'm going to give the AI the freedom to do it. So this is only one beat, and not a full stride, which is why I have these ellipses right here. So it's going to start doing this and then make up its own stuff, and then I'll pause it, and these will kick in to allow my continue button. So I'm just going to say continue. I know it's going to pick up where I need it to. And I will pause it again. And that's just the process I can repeat. And like I said, this works for best pros and unfiltered to keep them on track. So the AI isn't reading anything ahead. You're only giving it a little bit at a time to focus on. So once again, I have that continue button paused at the end of beat four. Paused right here. So it did that short little beat that I had. And it did this, making up its own things. Because again, I allowed it to. And then it thinks it still has these. So once again, just to show you one more time, I could come back in here and I'm not going to do the confusing extra ellipses. So paused at the end of beat four. And if you need to check your beats, if you're using ellipses and get confused. So I technically have three ellipses underneath. This was my first stride. That's how I have them numbered. I don't have them numbered according to beats. I have them numbered according to strides and how I want each stride to play out. So my third one should start with the one year later. So you'll see beat one, beat two, three, four. So my beat five, because remember we paused at the end of beat four, so we're picking up on beat five. My beat five starts with the one year later. So let's check, see if that's right. Beat five right here, one year later. Where my screen locked up right there. I'm going to hide that. So again, this is how you keep best pros and unfiltered on track. Use the ellipses trick. You don't need to do this. I'm sorry for the confusion that calls likely, but I did want to demonstrate that for y'all to have in your arsenal. So again, the only important thing is to have the two rows of ellipses underneath your beats. And every time you go to proceed to the next stride, you're just pasting the stuff in in front of those ellipses. So always keeping these here as long as you need that continue button. If you don't need this continue button, perhaps you're just doing this one stride, you can get rid of that. Leave this up a real quick. So that is how you can keep best prose on track. Still enjoy the dialogue and all of the style of prose that it gives you but keeping it on track, doing it this way. And again, the same for unfiltered. Now, unfiltered is Weaver.
It doesn't care what you write about. And I like its style. It's very close to my normal writing style whenever I'm writing everything by hand, you know, just me and myself and I. So I highly recommend trying that. And again, you will definitely need to use this ellipses trick to keep unfiltered on track. If you find this prose goes on tr off track too much for you and it aggravates you, I promise you, unfiltered does 10 times worse. So you will definitely just need to do two beats at a time. You can do four. However, I found it starts going off track with four. So that's up to you how much leniency you want to give to it to start making things up. So again, most accurate GPT-4 follows your beats very well. However, it brings your wording in almost verbatim. So keep that in mind. Best prose, I love its style. It doesn't follow your beats as well. That's why we can take beats out and do it in strides. And again, we were taking them out because the AI reads through all of your beat before it starts generating prose. Even though it's on that first stride, it still read through everything. That's why whenever you have beats generated right here and you read through, a lot of times you'll see the last two or three or like style instruction. That's why it actually works to have those there because it's already reading through them all. It sees those style instructions before it starts actually writing. So that's most accurate and best prose. Again, best prose is called two. Fastest GPT 3.5 Turbo. Honestly, I don't have anything bad to say about it, except it's sometimes too short for as good as I find it is. I love it. It tends to give the most dialogue out of all of the models. In fact, let's run this real quick in fastest just to see how much dialogue we'll get. And I'm just going to let it go. I'm going to click restart so it does everything from the top. So fastest will be like most accurate and follow your beats, except it's condensed a little bit more, I guess, is the only way I can think to say it. So I really love it for my fight scenes. If I have a scene that I'm worried reads too slowly and might bore the readers, I can use fastest because it'll amp it up with all of that dialogue that it has. Let me find, see it's at seven, eight up here. Now I did say downside is like the small amount of output, but occasionally it'll actually give the most. It's probably the most volatile of all of the models in that you never really know what you're going to get with it. But I always like to say it's like the black sheep of the family or the underdog. I love it. I don't think enough people give it credit. Let's look. You're starting at the first try. Typical, most accurate type pros from because they're both open AI models. And then you'll see it starts with the dialogue. And it actually gives more than this generally. So this is on the low side for dialogue. And then this is typical. This is typically what I see throughout very few paragraphs where there's no dialogue in it. And that's why it reads at such a fast pace because it keeps so much dialogue going. So that is fastest. And I pretty much went through unfiltered as well while talking about the others. So again, unfiltered is Weaver. It doesn't care what you write about, but you do need to prompt it just with no more than two beats in your box unless you're okay with it going off rails. And I, I'm telling you, it's not just a slight off rails. It changes the story drastically to where you're basically not even reading anything close to the original story. So as much as I love Unfiltered, again, I love its style. It's very close to my own. I do only do two beats at a time. I will remove my others. Make sure I had the ellipses there. So I will run through this with Unfiltered. Immediately pause it and then copy in my next set of beats. So it's always working in one stride at a time. Let's come down here and see what it did. It's still going. It's very slow. Um, Unfiltered's output is very low. Typical is like 276 tokens. So, you know, approximately like 300, 350 words. So Sudorite has to do some back in prompting to make it have a longer, lengthier output. That's why you'll see it take a while to get started. You'll see it pause like this, almost like it's done, and then it'll pick up again and start writing. And that's also why you may see a lot of words misspelled when it does this pausing and picks up again. A lot of times an extra ing or ed 
know, the end of the words are reattached, duplicating right there. That's why you see it pausing. It's just going through that back end prompting because it's trying to hurry up and end it. All right, so those are the models, the most basic about them. Again, play around with them, see which ones you like. My style box for this story is loaded up because this was an older story for me. And this used to be the way I prompted my style box. However, keep in mind that all of the models here lately have been giving the best output with very minimal in the style box. As of right now, I would actually only have things that I need. Third person past tense. You know, v if you want that. And if I had some violence going on, I would put mild violence, extreme violence, whatever, just to layer that in when I need it. But I've been keeping all of my style boxes simple like this here lately because it's just doing so much better. So I recommend playing around with that and seeing what works for us best for you. All right, thank y'all for watching. Again, I will do another series of videos where we actually start diving more into all the little tips and things that you can do with in all the boxes inside Pseudorite. And hopefully it helps y'all get your story finished. Bye everyone.